Dave Williams, editor here with today's video. It's Christmas Eve, and so we've got a Christmas special. Hyper Sport Tire Pressures. This is, without question, the number one question Dave gets across all platforms. Dave, dude, what should the pressures be on my umpty 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 squat tire? So here you go. For Christmas, Hyper Sport Tire Pressures. The pressure you should start with, your cold pressure, and within that range of pressure, what it should be based on your riding style, the bike you ride, the roads you ride. So here you go. Merry Farkin Christmas. Oh, and here's a preview. My name is Dave Moss. For over 20 years now, I've been helping riders maximize the performance and life of the tires on their motorcycles. This is Contact Patch. Tire pressures. We're gonna do this list, and these are the tire pressures over the years I've worked with riders. So we're gonna do road first. Generally, we'll do front and then rear. Obviously, if you learn pressures the other way around, you'll switch the data points. Then we're gonna go over to the track section and look at pressures that are specific for track for each of these. In all cases, they are cold pressures. They are not hot pressures. So, let's make sure of that. Now we know. So, for the road, and these are all Hypersport tires, which are multi-compound tires. For the Q3 Plus, for your average road rider, the front, the Q4 is going to be Moving on to the Michelin RS, Michelin Super Sport Evo, Pirelli Rosso 3. And again, those are all cold pressures and all ranges that we found through lots of testing over many years of working with lots of different bikes of different engine size and different ability of rider. Now, when we go to the track, we're not concerned as we are here on the road for longevity. Our primary goal at the track is grip, but that also depends on your skill level. So we'll give you a range here for the track. The higher pressures are going to relate to a higher skill level of performance. And as these are hypersport tires, they don't need tire warmers, hence cold only pressure. Q3s on the front are going to be, if you want to check that you are getting an appropriate rise in pressure, if you're getting the correct gain in pressure, you're getting the tire to temperature, which gives you optimal grip. The other side of that is if you go higher in pressure, you're trying to get more longevity. So, as per the Capital One card, grip and longevity, where does your credit card sit on that sliding scale between both? Tires are extremely expensive, more so in other parts of the world than first world countries. So, given the nature and price of our most used and expensive products on a motorcycle, What's more important to you, grip or longevity? Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com.